Shul Sato from Aka um, Nissan. This is actually from a what we call Eli wagon locally. Not sure what it's called elsewhere. And it seems to be made by Mitsubishi. Japanese, of course. 12 volts. Makes sense. This is the in positive to the solenoid. And the solenoid will pull in and make the contacts here. These two contacts. Either so switch from the positively front battery to the positive for the starter and negative of course is at the body ground of the vehicle which will come through any of these bolts so that's why we have one contact here and two here so let me see computer power supply if I can trigger this get this to work a lot of times it, it tends to be the solenoid that's a problem um, as opposed to the starter I thought I could run the starter with a computer power supply. This normally is hundreds of amps. That should really only put about 30 something amps. Uh, but now it's sunny. Let me try to put in this. Let me try this and then strip it up and see what's inside. Well, it seems to be working. Let me see if I can get this on film. Uh, it's pretty loud, so I'm sure you can hear it at least. Perfectly good solenoid. At least I got one useful part out of this the solenoid out the two contacts here if I want to use it for electrical uh, contact making a contact and yeah this is the plunger part probably have to make a plate for it and put it in but yeah could be used there's a spring in there so some matter of making a plate using these two bolts I'm gonna keep these two bolts for in there this is the starter part of it the solenoid actuates the starter and pulls in the clutch so it's two things it does actually it puts power onto this and it pulls in the clutch amazingly this is plastic this is the clutch here i i really do understand how it is plastic anyway we'll strip this down to have a look inside look inside what they've done is bushings uh in here you can see a bushing had an end plate that fell out this three brushes one for the coils, one is touching, apart from touching there, there's one going on the coils here and then of course there's a ground to the coil, right, a light to the coil, right, and then this next one to the coil and then it goes through and comes out there, so yeah, interesting, this is a fairly thick coil as you can see, not really much of anything to burn there, um, Again, look at these, look at these windings. I mean, this is significant windings, all right? The brushes are still acceptable. Um, I would venture to say this isn't actually spoiled. I haven't tried it on a car, and the computer power supply was unable to run it because the kind of power draw this is gonna pull, yeah, it's gonna just strip the supply. It's gonna see it as a dead shot. This side again, bushing, and if you look inside here, bushing, I'm not sure if that's visible, is it? Yeah, barely. Anyway, bushing, uh, no bearings, uh, aluminum housing, light, um, steel uh, pinion, probably quite a good thing. And then this is the arm that was doing the engaging. Actually, it's not, well, it's sort of a clutch, not really, I guess a clutch. Anyway, as it pulls, what it does is it causes this whole thing to rotate up. There's a, probably several screw heads. Uh, it's probably three to five screws. I don't know. I'll check it probably. Probably not. Either way, it's a few helices, and essentially, this will just do that. So, that'll cause it to engage with the correct tooth, get tooth in the car, and power the engine. And then, when you let go, the spring from the solenoid would have pulled that piece back and would have done this. And then, disengage. So, engage, disengage. Not a bad design, I am not convinced this motor is bad. I'm gonna put it all back together and we'll see. Um, oh, and there is this. Not sure where this came out from. Well, you always get spare parts when you open too many things. This is it all reassembled. Obviously nowhere as close to as tight and as great as it was before. I mean, manufacturer, proper torques, everything else. But I am not convinced, I have not seen anything to convince me that this starter was in fact bad. Um, nothing broken, nothing looks like it's saying, the brushes aren't worn, nothing to suggest that it's really needed changing.